so fucking precious when you smile. Tonight is inter our national culture night or something. Uh, so yeah, we had a pizza, chilling. It's actually chilly enough, so we actually are chilling. And now we're probably gonna do the worst possible thing and eat some frozen yogurt. <laughs> Unfortunately, Froyo was closed, so we can't eat Froyo at quarter past nine. But we went to the little and I got some bomb low calorie peach iced tea. It's actually very good. Uh, so yeah. Anything to aid the shred, I guess. Although I would have liked some froyo. So puppy. <laughs> hey everybody, get to macro munch. Gucci, welcome to the vlog. Apologies, I haven't actually said anything yet in the vlog, but just been doing bits. I got some questions from you guys, so I'm gonna do that. First, make sure that you are following me on Instagram at it's Matt Lucas. You can ask me questions there, and I'll answer them in the videos and stuff like that. So let's get to the questions. Whoa, just a quick seven up free. Oh man, I wish I got these for free. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my story. As I said, Instagram, it's Matt Lucas. Okay, first question. What are you running? Next question. What would be your top tips for trying to put on mass? I guess my top tips for putting on mass would be the same as like anybody else's top tips for putting on mass, and that would be be in a slight calorie surplus, nothing crazy, you don't want to gain too much fat. Train consistently with a good program where you're focusing on progressive overload, which means increasing the weight over time. Make sure that you are getting enough protein to fuel that recovery, so that when you are going to the gym and you are breaking down that muscle tissue, that you have enough protein to build it back up and bigger. So, next question. I just answered like two questions and was not recording any of it. So here we go again. How often do you make changes to calories slash cardio while day? For me personally, for the last three months, I have not reduced my calories. I've just increased my cardio um, every two weeks or so when I stopped seeing progress. So um, I started on one to two cardio sessions a week and on 2,500 calories. And at the moment, 12 weeks later, I'm on four to five cardio sessions a week and still 2,500 calories. Getting more specific with how I consume those calories. So the carbohydrates are mainly consumed around the workout, so they're utilized most. Uh, protein is spread out evenly in even sized portions throughout the day. So I'm being as efficient as I possibly can be with my diet, as opposed to at the beginning when I just kind of ate intuitively whenever. So that has improved how my body uses my calories, along with adding that extra cardio has just made the whole system more efficient. So I don't tend to favor reducing calories over increasing expenditure because I believe that um, expenditure is more effective for my body than reducing calories and restricting myself. So that's that. So this week there's a festival on here. So there are a lot of people around and a lot of gigs on and it's 4.30 in the afternoon and I'm going to go and try and catch this guitarist called Callum Graham. He's a guitarist from Canada and his main style is like finger style acoustic. Um, really like Andy McKee if any of you have heard of him. as a massive fan of his. Tried to learn his songs when I was younger because as you know I'm, I've been playing guitar for like 10 years or whatever so this will be really interesting he's really talented so I'll try and get some clips and hopefully he, hopefully he plays like the one song that I know from him <laughs> So 
hope you can see me. It's pretty dark here. Man, today was one of those days. I had so much planned to do. I woke up, lashing rain. I was meant to meet um, up with a photographer at 12 to do shots for a product campaign that's due on Monday. But we called it off because the rain was so bad. But I thought, look, you know what? We can just reschedule. I'll try and take my own photos for Monday. Then I decided, look, I'm going to go down West Cork, chill out. There's a festival on this weekend. I'll go out, have a good night, and it'll be sick, and I'll meet some cool people. And I can go to the gym down there. Forgot my gym top. So then I think, okay, no big deal. I'll take a rest day. All good. I'll still have a great night. I went to the gig on my own, which was unreal. Uh, really good guitarist, Callum Graham. None of my friends want to go down to West Cork to go out, so at this point, I need to just salvage some sort of good vibes. So the rain has stopped, it's drying up, the sun is coming out, and it's 7 pm, and I'm driving home, and I'm gonna go out and have a good night with the lads. My lip is bleeding for some reason, but we press anyway. Let's go! On some vibe, you know when you're just driving and every single song that comes on shuffle, you're just vibing with. Man, I'm I'm ready for a good night. Oh, talk to me, full tank. It is Sunday my dudes, and it's a great day. It's dry, kind of breezy. Hopefully today I'm going to be productive. Had a great night last night. I uh, had a great lion this morning. Much needed. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go to the gym today. Might do, might not. I'm wearing a sick vest from Bulk Powders today. Really like it. I'm starting to wear it like outside the gym just because it's so nice. Um, and this is the last probably chance I'll get before it gets freezing. But anyway, let me answer another one of these questions that I got. How many cans could the Tin Man tan if the Tin Man could tan tins? That is a great question. I don't have an answer for you. If you could change one thing in your life at this moment, what would it be and why? And to be honest, I have an answer straight away for this. It's nothing. I would change nothing about my life right now. If you start wishing there was something in your life that you don't have, and you're, and you're fixated on what you don't have, then you're not going to be happy with what you do have. And I honestly think that any decision, anything that I did, any paths that I chose all the way to get me to here, um, I don't regret any of them. And that's the way you should live, man. Don't regret anything and be happy and always strive for improving your life in every aspect. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing about that. Another deep one, plans for the future now that the degree is done. Honestly, I have a lot of plans that I'm keeping close to my chest. Um, I have a lot of kind of different avenues that I'm opening up at the moment. Uh, you guys know that I have a job now. Um, I'm working as a data analyst. I'm very happy with it, it's great. It's a great job, so chilled out. And I enjoy doing it. But it's not the only thing that I have going on right now. And it won't be for the foreseeable future. Um, I plan on doing a lot of different things. In your car. Yeah. You can send me a photo she took. Three photos. I'll continue these questions in another clip. Are we live? We are. <laughs> Premium car wash. We're making big money now, guys. I can get my car wash for 10 euro. Solid. Man, it's a beautiful day here in lovely Balancholic. Almost 3 o'clock. Beautiful sun, but it's actually only 12 degrees. And there's something going on today. There's also wood fired pizza behind me, which is dangerous because I'm hungry. That's really funny, they have this outside Starbucks to protect all the cold brews. So, fact, cold brew with sugar-free vanilla is the best Starbucks order you can get. Not an opinion, that's fact. Getting my car washed fixed my extremely squeaky window. It's only slightly squeaky now. Man, it was very squeaky. Alright, well, time to take this mini to the mini guy. 
The service light's been up for like a week. He's not actually a miniature guy, I mean, he's just a guy who takes care of minis. So he's gonna service this mini. Oh, yes. Very nice. So, I got some protein, creatine, super strength omega 3s. I'm gonna try these vegan protein bears, which were very good at body power. So, if I remember correctly, they tasted great. This week is Bulk Powder's 12th birthday. So, there's loads of promotions going on on their website to get free stuff. One of the promotions was buy a certain amount of stuff and you get a free kilo of birthday cake whey protein and a free birthday cake flavor macro munch, which is new. And I didn't think it would apply to me as well because I just get my allowance every month. But I ended up getting a free bag of it and a free bear as well. So that's part of my order. And let me tell you, these are bomb. So it is time for some squash. About to whoop some ass. It's 4.20 in the afternoon. I think we're going in for two hour sessions. So that is some serious cardio. I'm gonna hit up pull after that. Trying to maintain these gains while in this deficit, so yeah, it's coming along nicely. I know I haven't showed my physique in a while, but stay tuned. <laughs> so just finished up the squash and the workout. Played like an hour of squash, and apparently, according to the internet, and Kian, that's like 900 calories. So I don't, I don't believe that. Don't get me wrong. We well, burnt a lot of calories, but 900 and whatever, I don't think. <laughs> but. Regardless, I am in a deficit today, a deficit of calories by a lot, and it's like half six. So I'm gonna enjoy some good food and chill for the evening. Look how beautiful this is. And I got a good workout too, so happy days. So damn good. How's it? How's it going down? Very good. Pretty good. All right. So check out what I got. So I got this one's dark chocolate froyo. I got strawberry froyo, and I got car or cookies and cream froyo. Kiwi. Because uh, it's a superfood, obviously. <laughs> some strawberries and some Oreo like crumbles, and of course a flake for good measure. So there it is. Pretty aesthetic. So yeah, Froyo was pretty decent. <laughs> so yeah, Froyo was pretty decent. Enjoyed it. Um, shout out to Froyo, Froyo I guess. <laughs> uh, Thanks for having us, appreciate it. Honestly, not a great idea again for oil on a night where it's like 12 degrees. And I had like, <laughs> coming out of the shop with brain freeze into the cold air. Was Gucci, just back from the gym. And I realized that I have not done an outro for this video. So thanks for watching. Remember, be smart, be kind, be humble. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.